I wanted to show you this LCD mod that I built on my PC for monitoring. Just in case someone wants to do it, this might help a bit. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. First, I bought this. There are a lot of options out there you can do. Uh, they are cheaper LCDs, but they all require two cables, one for the communication port and one for the power. But this one is built with USB, so it doesn't need two, two cables because it draws the power from the USB cable. So this costs £15.60. It came from China, it took about a month to arrive, but worth for the price there are faster options out there but I wasn't in a hurry so I just took the free delivery so this is what you're gonna get in the package the LCD USB cable and it's also compatible with the motherboard header USB so if you're gonna put this inside like on the case you would want to connect it to the motherboard you don't want any USB cable sticking out of the case so you're gonna use this I didn't have the free USB headers uh, this is USB 2 so I had the USB 3 header free so I just ordered this converter to be able to connect that cable with the LCD you get all these fitting bits the first impression I got when it arrived that it was that it's pretty good quality it came in this box right here it's from Shore Electronics it was a pretty good quality very solid but once I, I've connected it, there were a couple of issues with it. First, one of the screws was smaller than the other, so I couldn't fit it. But luckily, in my I had a bag filled with screws, so I could pick one that fit. So I could replace the, the smaller screw, so that was an issue. Another thing was, the LCD didn't have backlight it, I mean, it should have backlight but it wasn't working so I contacted the seller but I didn't want to wait another month for a new LCD to arrive so what I did was I checked out the, the schematics for the LCD and these last two pins I, can't, I think it was either these two or these two those were designated for the LCD backlight so in the in the positive pin there was no voltage there was no voltage so I just picked another pin that had voltage on it so I just jumped the wire to it and now it's working fine as you can see nothing wrong with it and um, yeah fit it in so we're working fine I'm gonna talk a bit about the building process So I had to use two bays, as you can see here, from the case. This is one size of the bay. These are what, two empty bays here. I've moved the, moved the CD unit down here. And what I did was, on my one, the bay doors had this. It was the plastic frame on it. Then it had this dust filter and then this metal bit so what I did I just removed these two and just left the plastic frame on it and then I ordered this product it was one sheet of ABS plastic as you can see one side is shiny and the other one is matte it's very easy to work with it's quite tough it is flexible but 
very resistant, very strong, it's easy to work with. And what I did was just measure all this and cut the size. Now when the LCD arrived, I just cut the plastic inside, like the, the, the frame, the plastic frame that was left there, I just cut the size of this LCD. Then measure the holes with the screws and drill some tiny holes in it. For, for cutting this plastic I've used uh, a hobby knife and then to polish it just some very soft sandpaper. So you can see there's no rough edges or anything, everything is very smooth. And afterwards, I've just, since I've removed this, there was like one millimeter gap there. So exactly the thickness of this. So when I put this down, it's actually flash with the other bits. So it looks like it's built in. So what I did is I super glued this bit here because there was no way of fitting it. And then I just put the LCD from inside the case and just fit the screws in. Now, if you have plastic covers for for the base here, you could either just cut in them to fit this and drill the screws, or you could just polish one millimeter off with uh, a piece of good sandpaper and just super glue this on top. So it's gonna look nicer with this on top rather than with with that gap here in between the base. So it's pretty straightforward, it's not difficult to do. And it looks good afterwards. If you look at it, it looks like it's been in the case, it's not any moods down to it. So now I'm gonna talk a bit about the software for this thing. As you can see here, the first line, this is the CPU load, this is the load bar, CPU usage, this is the CPU temperature, this is the GPU load bar, GPU temperature, this is the memory bar, memory usage, this is the CPU's uh, fan RPM. This is the system, that's the front and back fans, RPM, and this is the GPU fan usage. At this point it's 0% because it's on idle, so it doesn't spin at all. Now, to get this working, you need this little tool right here. It's called the LCD Smarty. Now it can show loads of information, anything you want it to show, any sensor from the system, anything really, you can get it to show on the LCD, you can get it to show uh, new emails or you can, if you have, if you're using Winamp, you can get it to show the song that's playing or and uh, the, the equalizer bar or whatever you want it to show. You just need some plugins for it. Now, to get the plugins, now it was a nightmare to get this working because every single link to the forum was dead. If you Google it, you're not gonna find it. It was very difficult to, to figure out what to do. But I have found the forum and they probably changed the domain or something because now I need it. This is the address. And you can find loads of plugins, tutorials, everything you need to know is here. So if you want to do a mod like this, definitely check it out. It's not difficult to do once you you get the idea how this thing works, it's actually really easy. Um, you can set it up with the contrast, brightness. This is all, these are all the commands that make that information show up. It's not difficult to get it working. Every plugin has tutorial. So don't let, don't let that take you back. 
So if you have any questions, if you want to do this and you have any questions, just put it in the comments below and I'll help you do it. And I'm pretty happy with the result. It was a bit of a struggle to get everything working because I had some problems with the net framework and none of the plugins loaded. And until I figured out what the problem was, it was an absolute nightmare. But it's all up and running now. Thank you for watching my video and talk to you soon.